First at noon sentencing day, the man who opened fire inside a packed baggage area at Fort Lauderdale, Hollywood International Airport learned his fate. Esteban Santiago came face to face today with family members of the victims he killed. And CBS 4's Real Crane is live outside the federal courthouse in downtown Miami with more on today's sentencing. Real? Well, Mary Bell, it was a courtroom full of emotion. Esteban Santiago, very little eye contact, uh, no eye contact almost, as he had to hear the victim's families describing the pain and suffering that he had caused them. There was little surprise today that, as expected, he was sentenced to multiple life terms. The judge had specifically deferred his sentencing until today so that he could hear from the victims. Responsible for the deadliest airport shooting in U.S. history, Esteban Santiago to spend the rest of his life in prison. In a federal courtroom Friday, sentenced to five consecutive life terms plus 120 years for killing five people and injuring six more at the Fort Lauderdale Airport in January last year. Prosecutors once again laying out the methodical way he planned and carried out his heinous attack. Booking a one-way flight from Anchorage, Alaska to Fort Lauderdale, no bags, checking only a gun case with a 9mm handgun inside. When he landed, he picked up the gun, went to the bathroom, then said prosecutors walked to the most crowded end of Terminal 2 in the baggage area and opened fire, aiming 15 bullets at people's heads and bodies. Carnage that lasted for about two minutes. There were no cameras allowed in the courtroom. Today, the judge said, was about making Santiago hear from the families he tore apart. Edward Amsadel injured in the attack. His wife, Mary Louise Amsadel, killed there with his children. His daughter, Melissa Bocamp, speaking through tears of how he destroyed a marriage of 45 years, saying, because of your poor choices, I no longer have a mother, my best friend. And from Carrie Omni, who was seriously injured in the attack, her husband, Michael Omni, shot in the head and killed this. To the coward who murdered my husband and our daughter's father, we had no chance against your bullets. We had nowhere to hide. I am certain on the day you die, your soul will rot in eternal damnation for what you've done. After so many emotional statements, Santiago did not want to speak. Instead, we heard from his defense attorney who spoke of an Iraq war veteran who suffered from severe mental illness and wanted to apologize to his victims. Little sympathy from the judge who said immediately after the shooting, when asked if he felt any remorse, he responded, not really, imposing what she said was the maximum sentence she could according to a plea agreement, multiple life sentences for what she called 85 seconds of evil. Well, the judge did ask prosecutors why they did not choose the, to seek the death penalty. They said factors were his mental condition and his military service and said that all of the victim families also preferred that he never get out of prison. Live in Miami, Rail Creighton, CBS 4 News.